Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Server training session with Learn at No Star. In today's video, we are going to write a SQL query to identify any text in any column in a database table that contains a specific set of characters. For example, let's say there's a scenario in which we want to identify any text which contains alphanumeric values, which means only alphabets and numbers and no other special characters. There might also be scenarios in which we want only specific set of special characters to be included within those alphanumeric values. For example, let's say hyphen, colon and so on. So we are going to write SQL queries for both these scenarios. Now we are going to work on the dim product table that we have and it has a column called model name. So if we simply take a look at the values of the model name in our table, we have values which are mostly alphabetic values. We have some special characters. For example, if we see here, there is a hyphen included. We also have spaces in between words. So we need to take care of those. And if we scroll down at the bottom, we see that there are some other special characters as well. Uh, for example, the forward slash. Um, let's see if we have any numeric values as well in our data so yeah we have some numeric values as well for example this uh, record with m a v 991 so we have all kinds of values in this column now let's start with finding out um, any value that is alphanumeric so let's filter out those values to begin with Okay, so I already have a select statement written over here and I'm going to add a condition on the model name and I'm going to use the keyword like because we are trying to recognize some pattern in the data. So that's why we are going with the like statement. So we are just going to include our column like and the next thing that we are going to do is use some wildcards to match the specific requirement that we have for the data in those columns. So there is a list of wildcards that we should be aware of. And if we go to the Microsoft site, we will see that there are four kinds of wildcards. So the very first one is the person that we all are mostly aware of. So it matches anything, any character. If you want to represent, you can represent by a percent sign. Then there's something called an underscore, which matches exactly one character. Then you have double square brackets, and then you have this caret sign, which is basically to imply a not matching condition. So we are going to use a combination of these in our query. So let's go back to the SQL Server Management Studio and complete our query. To identify the alphanumeric values, let's put down an expression that identifies that the string has maybe at least an alphabet or at least a number. So to do that, and since we are making a comparison on textual values, we have to put everything inside the uh, single quotes. And then the very first thing that we need to include is the percent sign, which basically means zero or more characters. So anything appearing before or after the check that we are doing using that expression. So let's put the person sign and then we need to include the alphabetic range. Now to include any kind of range, we need to put it within the square brackets and we need to put the range. Now for the alphabetic range, we have to put A till Z and we have to specify the range by using a hyphen sign. Now SQL Server is really case insensitive, so it does not matter in which case you put down your alphabetic range. A, then hyphen and the last uh, alphabet of the series, which is going to be Z. Now, another check that we want to make is that it can contain one or more numeric values. So let's put down the second range that we have, which is going to be zero, and then again, hyphen and nine. So this is our check, and we are going to end again with a person sign to specify that any more characters can uh, occur after this match has been made. So now if we execute this query, so we have 123 records here of distinct model names and now we're going to execute this query. Once we execute this query, we'll see that we have got all the 123 records over here because all the records have um, alphabets, either alphabets or numeric values. And that is the condition that we have specified here that there should be at least one alphabetic or numeric value in this textual value that we have in the string for model name. 
So, so far we have done right. But now our scenario is to identify all the values which contain only alpha numeric values, which means they should not be containing any special characters like spaces or hyphen, as we can see in the first record over here. So now since we got all the values because all of them either contained any alphabets or numbers. Now let's take the next step and try to identify all the values which contain anything apart from the alphabets and numbers. So if they have any other special characters apart from the alphabets and numbers. So to do that we are going to make use of another wildcard which is the caret sign. So just put the caret sign at the beginning of the ranges that we have defined over here in our expression. So what this caret sign now indicates is that the expression or the like uh, the like statement is now going to search for any string values that contain any characters other than what we have specified in the range, which is any characters other than any alphabet and any number. So now it is going to search for all the string values that contain any other characters apart from the alphabets and the numbers. So now if we execute this query, you will see that now we have got 119 rows. That means at least four records were filtered out. But first, let's take a look at what we have got in the output. Now we can see that we have got all the records which have either a space in between or some other special character like a hyphen or uh, maybe again a hyphen over here, a comma over here. So some kind of special character or a space. So we have got all the values now which contain something which is kind of a special character. So these are invalid values for us because we were searching only for values which are alpha numeric values. So to identify the valid values, what we can now do is include a not like statement over here and execute this query. And what we have got out in the output are those remaining four records from the previous query. And you can see that these four records contain only either alphabetic or numeric values, and they don't even contain spaces because we did not specify space as a valid value. Now let's say we want to specify space as a valid value. So if it were a leading or a trailing space, we could have trimmed on the model name and then executed our query. But we want any spaces that occur in between to be counted as valid values. So now what we can do is go back to our expression and along with the ranges that we specify, we can add any other special character or space that we want to specify as a valid value. So to add, to add a space, just a space that's all we need to do and now if we execute this query you will get in the output even those values which have spaces in between now if you want to see or you find you want to find out the invalid values we can just remove this not statement over here and execute this query again and we will find out all the values which have been filtered out. So we can see that there were values with hyphen which have been filtered out. There have been values with forward slash which have been filtered out and so on. So now let's say we actually have a condition and we think that hyphen is also a valid value for us. So we might have the alphabetic values. We are also okay with spaces and we are also okay with only any values that contain a hyphen as a special character and no other special characters are allowed. So we can keep on adding those special characters, whichever we think are valid values for us. So now we want to include a hyphen. We can just add the hyphen over here. So for the space, let's put it within brackets so that we can identify the space. And then let's just go ahead and add the hyphen sign over here. And now if we execute the query, you will see that all the values with the hyphen in between have also been included as the valid values. Now let's say we also want to consider a forward slash as a valid special character. So we just need to add it to the list over here. And uh, it's better to add it before the hyphen because hyphen can be confused for this range wildcard as well. So we would just add it a forward slash before the hyphen and let the hyphen be the last special character in this expression. And now we execute this query. So currently we have 110 records. 
we execute this query it increases to 119 that means the values which had a forward slash like this value over here has also been included in the output the other functions that can also be used to write queries for similar scenarios that is testing for alphanumeric or specific characters range of characters in your text uh, we'll see them in future videos but for now i hope that you like this video and found it useful if you did then please do not forget to like comment and share this video and please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for many more such videos thank you and goodbye